Hey guys, Angela here with Turo Family Chiropractic and your weekly PSA or piece of salutogenic advice. So today talking about the vicious cycle of poor health. So we've all heard it before. Uh, we go to a friend or even a doctor and we kind of list off the, the sense of generic not feeling well. Like, you know, I'm tired. I'm not motivated. Um, I just don't feel good. I'm, I have aches or pains. And then what's the solution? It's obvious. It's always so obvious. Oh, well, you need to exercise more or you need to get better sleep. You need to take care of yourself. <laughs> so we know the basic general idea for health is you need to make good lifestyle choices to be healthy. It's very obvious. So why don't we do it? Well, the problem is we get ourselves stuck in what I call the vicious cycle of poor health, where we're making unhealthy choices, which are making us unhealthy, but then the actual state of being unhealthy is making it difficult, sometimes impossible, to make those right healthy choices. So it just becomes this nonstop cycle. So think about if you're not sleeping well, you're not eating right, you're not exercising, you're not taking care of yourself, you're going to become unhealthy. You're going to see an increase in inflammation, your hormones are going to be disturbed, you're going to start having signs and symptoms of that lack of health. But having those issues then is going to make it difficult to make the right choices. If you're not sleeping well, do you really have the energy to get up and exercise in the morning or cook yourself a healthy breakfast? No, you're probably dragging yourself out, grabbing something quick and easy and going on your day and then probably chugging down massive amounts of caffeine and sugar and just eating whatever you can get your hands on just to keep your energy levels up all day. Um, same thing, you know, if you're not eating right, if you try to go exercise, you're not going to have the energy to get through that workout. Um, and then if you're not exercising, you're probably not sleeping well. Uh, and then it just all becomes this ongoing cycle, 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 where one bad choice leads to feeling a certain way, which leads to another bad choice. And so it becomes very difficult. So, and then every single bad choice, every bad night of sleep, every, um, every additional day where you're not making the right choices of what you eat, every day you're sitting all day instead of getting out and moving and exercising is just going to become one more thing adding up that's going against your health and against living a long, vital life. So what is the solution? Because we all know what we should be doing, or for the most part, we all know what we should be doing, but we struggle to do it. So when you're stuck in this downward spiral, the vicious cycle where it's just one bad choice leads to another, leads to another, and you feel stuck, you need to figure out a way to break that chain, to break that cycle. And the best way to do that is to figure out what is the underlying issue, what started it. Cause it's, it's going to be different for everyone. For some people, you know, they might love exercising, but other, um, bad choices have added up leading to the state of health, negative health, and then they don't have the energy to exercise. Uh, maybe it was an injury that you didn't quite fully recover from. Maybe it's stress at work, uh, whatever it might be. For other people, it might be the, the poor nutrition. They can't control their eating. They're struggling with that. They use stress, uh, eating as a stress coping, me coping mechanism. And so that's what's limiting depleting their energy, having them not sleep well at night, not have the energy to exercise. Um, for other people, it might be the stress and the sleep, uh, not getting that quality sleep. So you really need to figure out what initially caused it to start, because generally we don't just wake up one morning and all of a sudden we're making all the wrong choices. So what caused you to get into that initial cycle is so important to identify because focusing on that, will then help you break that cycle. And if you can start fixing that one area, you're gonna notice other areas in your health improving as well. If you start sleeping better, even without trying, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna be more active, and you're likely gonna make better uh, food choices. If you start exercising more, same thing, without even trying, you'll probably start making better food choices. You'll sl start sleeping better at night. So you don't have to feel like you have to go out and fix every single thing. I need to get eight hours of sleep tonight and eat the perfect meal tomorrow and get to the gym um, because that's just too overwhelming. So figure out what initially caused it. Okay, I need to focus on my sleep and then take it from there with those baby steps. 
And the best way to do that is if you know what your underlying issue is, find a specialist because that's their area. That's why they specialize in it. They'll be able to help you uh, focus on and figure out that one aspect of your health. If you're like a lot of people and you have absolutely no idea where to start, um, that's where it's great to work with somebody, you know, a health professional like myself that has more of a broad range of different areas of health. Um, somebody actually referred to me, they're like, oh, you're kind of a health detective. And I liked that uh, because we just were talking through, you know, her health history, some past symptoms, some current symptoms, past lifestyle, current lifestyle. And just by talking, you know, we kind of were able to figure out, oh, you know, it seems like this particular behavior is what triggered and started having some of these other outcomes. So that is really, you know, what I do. It's helping people get to that. What, what is the main issue? You know, you might come to me wanting to lose weight, but if you're stressed out of your mind and you're not sleeping well, I don't care how hard you try. I don't care um, how focused you are on making those lifestyle changes. It's not going to be successful in the long term until you can get that stress under control and start sleeping better. So it's about getting you focused, figuring out where to start, figuring out what that number one issue is that you need to address so that you can break that cycle and get yourself on the way um, to being healthy and really being healthy for life. So that's your weekly PSA, piece of salutogenic advice. As always, make sure you're following us in our What the Hell Facebook group, um, finishing up heart health this month and going into next month, March, um, in honor of National Nutrition Month, we're going green. So you'll be hearing a lot about greens and different superfoods and how to boost up your diet um, and boost up your health with a, with a good quality diet. So we'll see you guys next week, same time. Thanks for tuning in.